Hello, welcome back um, to another Makers with Heart Mystery Envelope Challenge. I am Lori Cooch, and this month's um, mystery envelope was sent to us by uh, from Kim uh, Ferguson. Sorry, I gotta write this down. Um, what we received this month were some fun papers from the Hello Darling paper pack. So we've got um, some four by six, and then. I don't, I didn't major this, but it's the blue. Then we have some little zip strips, some shimmer trim, and then some candy apple uh, cardstock. And her rules are no flowers or stars. Basically, try your best not to replicate the Hello Darling projects in the idea book. At least two pops of color from cardstock. You may add any amount of pattern paper only if you use all of the pieces sent and use a form of mixed media on your tags. I'm not sure what she means by tags. Um, I'm not gonna have a specific tag. I'm going to have, um, oh, I just went blank on what they're called, but where you dovetail the ends. And um, so I'm gonna have some mixed media on that. And then other embellishments such as sequins, I know I'm dots, may be added and so this is what we have and I am of course making a card we're gonna do a five by seven card and I have done some Cricut cuts and I don't think I'm replicating anything um, from the hello darling um, projects that are in the catalog but I am using the hello sunshine uh, title that is in that digital art kit and I've added an offset so if you don't know how to do that in Cricut, just reach out to me. I'm happy to show you, but let's get started. Okay, um, I have cut out my words, hello sunshine, and <clears throat> I don't want to lose the dot to my eye. And I, like I said, I put it on an offset, but before I start putting these down, I'm going to use the mixed media because it takes a little bit to dry. And here's one of my pops of color. I cut up a piece of five by seven uh, sapphire cardstock to fit on a card base, one of our five by seven card bases. And I have the Stickles Nebula Glitter Glue. And if you've noticed my voice is a little raspy, I am not sick. Um, it's Reno Rodeo time here in, in Nevada. And we went, so I just have lost my voice. Um, so I'm going to just, just take a palette knife and just kind of go around in splotches around the corners because you're only going to see parts of it. And I want it to just look like a little, little bit of distressed area. And there is stars, but I'm not like trying to add stars, Kim. I'm sorry. But it's my mixed media and it has stars in it. So I hope it's okay. You know, like, um, I think it's called a German schmear for brick painting. That's the kind of look I'm going for on this. And this piece is going to be on top of it. So you're not going to see a whole lot of the sapphire anyway. So I wanted to just kind of have that um, there. So I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to put my words, hello, sunshine, on my um other piece of sapphire and this i'm using as my other excuse me pop of color because it's going to pop off i think i hope and i just took that piece of candy apple cardstock that was in our our bundle from kim and cut it in half so i cut these letters out of so i'm just putting some glue on the back of these now, I know that, um, I think it's Julie and I, Katie, they, they've taught me to cut multiple and layer, and I didn't want to do it on this one because I just didn't want it to get, get too thick because I'm going to pop it with some foam tape when, I, when I'm done with it. So um, I, that's a great idea, and I love the concept behind it, but I just wasn't feeling it on this project. Like I said, I'm going to um, put some foam tape behind it so I didn't want it too thick and then it messes up when you mail it. 
So I'm using the liquid glue. You can see it here, that's okay. It dries perfectly clear. And, oh, nope, there it is. I was like, I have tried so hard to not lose. Oh, maybe I did lose it. The dot to that eye, because it's so tiny. So, okay, I'm gonna have to find that and go back and, and cut another, cut this again, just to get the dot to that eye. Or, you know, maybe I'll come up with a different option. I don't know how I can lose it in 30 seconds, but that's me, that's what I do. So maybe I can put a sequin there or something and make it, I don't know, we'll see. So if you haven't watched The Makers With Heart before, we are a group of Close To My Heart consultants. And every month we showcase um, a product or a um, technique. And we all make um, our own specific videos on that, highlighting it. And then those release starting on the 10th of the month, one each day for all seven of our days. And then the mystery envelope is on the 25th and we release them all at the same time. So be sure and check them out. There's links to the other makers in the description below. And you're going to want to, if you haven't already, subscribe to each of us so that you don't get, you don't miss out on any of it. And you'll know every time we release a video. So, okay, there that is, like I said, these white glue pieces. Those are going to dry and they're going to be perfectly clear and we won't see them anymore. Okay, next, I want to start prepping. I'm still looking for that dot to my eye. It was just right over. Oh, look, there it is. I found it. I'm going to put it on my finger. I'm going to just put a little blob of glue on here and then just set it on top of it and hope it doesn't stick to my finger. Because I've got the um, mixed media stuck to my finger, so. Okay, we're gonna let that dry and we won't lose it again. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I want to run this across the bottom, but first I'm going to do my, um, I don't even know what they're called, guys. I am losing it. So I'm gonna take this piece I don't need that. And I'm going to cut it um, just not super wide. I'm going to go about three quarters of an inch. It's not perfectly three quarters of an inch, but close enough. And <clears throat> when this is on the front, it's going to take up most of it. So I want these to come out from behind here and have the um, the dovetail on them. So the length wasn't really that important, it's the width. So I'm going to get my fine point scissors and you just cut down the middle and then from corner to um, the end of your cut and you'll get a perfect dovetail every time. Um, I'm going to do the blue on this because I'm, well, no, I'm going to do the red. There's a little bit of blue on the end there. I'm going to cut that off. Dovetail this one. So dovetailing each of these so that they will pop out from behind my, looks like a cloud, I guess. I don't know. If you don't know how to do that offset feature, like I said, just reach out. I'm happy to just tell you how to do it and show you how. I probably have some videos showing it, but if you haven't seen them, you can also go check out my prior videos and you'll find those. So now I'm going to just assemble these in a fun, pattern that I think will look good. Hmm. Cut
coming out from behind. Well, that didn't work. And remember, I have to put some, um, mixed media on these as well and they are kind of stuck to my table because I went over but that's okay so I'm going to just take that palette knife again and when this dries it just it's like sparkly and looks really cool so I just got my palette knife I'm going to just smear it on there and try and cover I should have a paper underneath me because if you followed me at all, you know I'm not a neat crafter. Not in the least. I don't even pretend to be. So can you see the little sparkles? I think that looks cute. So now I'm just going to put some adhesive down on here. It's going to be hidden. I'm going to eyeball. Where this will go and the reason i didn't turn it over and put the adhesive on there was because this is still wet and they don't want it to smear now i'm going to get some foam tape i should have had this out already guys i'm so sorry oh here's some so I'm just going to pop these out from some of our, um, for shaker cards. Extra foam tape comes with those. I love this. I use these all the time. That'll work. I love um, this Hello Darling, and I did just read um, today, and I'm recording this on, on Friday, and you're going to see this on Sunday, but um, they got more supply of the Hello Darling um, papers and sticker packs and stuff, so if you're wanting the Hello Darling, do not wait, because once it sells out now, they're not going to replenish it, and it will be gone, so this is your last chance to, to get that. Now I'm going to just stick some, um, stick them on my desk here. I normally have my, um, my, uh, all purpose mat, but it's over here and it's covered and stuff. So a little tip when you don't have a tail, just stick it down on something and then it'll separate from the backing easier and you can get it off and then you can just scratch that right off your your Versa mat, or your, I'm sorry, your all-purpose mat or your Versa mat. I can do it with my nail. <clears throat> so I'm going to just stick this on here. Should have probably put it on before I put the the Hello Sunshine, because now i got to go under it, but just roll with it. It'll work. And I have to trim off the end a little bit. Now we're going to get back to our piece that still has um, our glue on there. And instead of putting that flat, I'm going to pop that up as well. I do like dimensional stuff. And I'm probably smearing this glitter all over my work table because I didn't even think about it. Yep, I did. I have all this um, mixed media stuff and I forget to use it. So 
Thank you, Kim, for putting this in there and telling us to use our mixed media. Because I love all of it, and then I just forget to use it when I, when I have it. And no matter what I'm doing, I'm sticking my finger right in it. I am trying so hard not to. Okay. There, I did it again. Okay, so now um, she said we can add some sequins, and I would I want to do that. So give me a sec to grab those. My I want my silver ones, but they are already all packed up for a crop that I'm doing tomorrow. So we will use gold. Gold will work well. There's some gold in our, in our, um, mixed media. So I just put a dot of liquid glue down. And then put the sequin on top of it. I, yeah. And this would be easier with tweezers. But again, my bag is already packed for a crop that I'm going to tomorrow. And I'm going to put one over here. up here in the corner. I keep dropping the clear ones on accident. I just don't want them on this project. So I love our craft jars, it makes it so easy to access them and use them. And now I'm going to put adhesive on my card front so that we can put this down. And I've got so much wet stuff on here that I'm trying to be careful. Okay, there it is. There's my card. Just pushing it down so that tape runner will stick in there. So I hope you liked it. I hope you can see the sparkly of the, um, I always forget what they're called. They're called Stickles Glitter Gel. And I'll put links to this and everything I used in the uh, description below. <laughs> Excuse me. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you'll check out the others as well and come back every single month and check out what we have to do because we have a lot of fun. Have a great evening.